What's up guys, Bob here with Pacific North Wild and today we are gonna go over some boots. So last year for the 2021 season, I ran the Kenetrek Mountain Extreme non-insulated boot and I thought I had to add something to my arsenal. So this year I'm adding the Crispy Colorado GTX. Uh, each one serves its own purpose. This is kind of a boot right here that you're gonna run uh, Maybe right when you start hitting the hills, there's still snow on the ground, you may expect rain. Uh, you got a 10 inch high boot. Again, it's non-insulated. I did just put some wax on these, so it does have that dark appearance. Uh, when you get these fresh out of the box, they will look more like a tannish color like Jeff's boot over here. Um, no laces on this one. These are pretty expensive, but I do believe you get what you pay for. These will run about $500 from Kenetrek. Um, and it does, what I really like about this boot, it has the full rubber rand. So you're not gonna get any water seeping through your boots at all. Full grain leather, um, that's gonna add a little bit of warmth as compared to these that are suede. Um, and also, I really like these boots for the, the support they give you. Uh, again, a 10 inch boot, so it goes like halfway up your calf, you'll have that support. They'll keep you dry, and uh, they're just a great all-around boot. With the, the Crispy, they are very breathable. I got this boot uh, to, to supplement with my Kenetrex because in the summertime, I have found that my feet get very hot uh, when July scouting, August bear hunting. So I wanted a boot that, uh, that was gonna breathe. And with this Crispy uh, GTX Colorado boot, you're gonna get that. Um, the bottom, it is triple stitch, a leather rand that goes all the way around the boot. Um, and it, I, yes, it's Kevlar and suede for the, the material on top. So you're going to get that breathability. And with the crispy, they have their flex rating, one being very flexible, five being extremely stiff. And with these Colorados, you're going to get a four flex rating. So it is going to be pretty stiff. But when you have a full pack full of mule deer or elk and you're side hilling, it's going to protect your ankles. You're not going to roll or break your ankle. And that's what I wanted with the boot. And it has a breathability. So I think just adding these for uh, summer use, probably July scouting, August bear, September elk, maybe high buck, I would go with these. Anything past that when you start getting into like a modern season. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the Kenetrex. So having these two uh, for the state of Washington is a huge benefit. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm going to roll with for the 2022 season. And one more time, the, the Kenetrek Mountain Extreme non-insulated will run you about $500. And the Crispy Colorado GTX is sitting at about $360. Uh, oh yeah, wait. These Kenetrex are also going to be about a quarter of a pound heavier. They're sitting about 3.9 pounds. And these Colorado GTX from Crispy, they're about 3.4 pounds. So a little bit lighter weight, you won't get as tired hiking the mountains during the summertime or early season, chasing muleys with a bow, what have you, with uh, the Colorados. So with these two boots, I think I'll be set for hunting in Washington. We're going out of state in Montana, hopefully. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of hunts this year and these are going to cover my basis. So yeah, that's what I'm running for the 2022 season here at Pacific North Wild. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like, make sure you subscribe. And I want to know what you guys are running for this season. Um, let me know what your favorite boot is and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching everybody. We appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment or hit the like button and also on your way out of here, if you hit the subscribe button, that'd mean a lot. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified upon every upload. Thanks so much. We'll catch you in the next video.